The complexities of language continues, guys. Nathan Heights here. For those of you who don't know, welcome to my channel. I hope you stay. And today we're going to be talking about a subject that I never really thought about. For those of you who are longtime subscribers, you guys know I have not yet made a video on pronunciation or phonetics, right? The sounds of languages. Well, today, this video is inspired by a book that I'm reading, which is this amazing book right here, Fluent Forever. Now, this video teaches people how to learn a language, so it teaches you how to teach yourself a language, right? So it has a lot of good, useful information in it. Stuff that I already knew through experience, so I can attest to it. But it also includes a lot of stuff that I never once thought about, right? Mostly regarding phonetics and differentiating between the different sounds of a language, right? A fact that I didn't know is that the sounds of all the world's languages can be broken down into around 800 different sounds. 200 different vowel sounds and about 600 different consonant sounds. But, interesting fact, most languages only use about 30 sounds, right? Some as low as 10 and some as high as 120, okay? Now when we're babies, we can differentiate between all of these sounds. So it takes us a while to begin to process words and to really understand because when we hear a word, we hear all the subtleties between each of these sounds, right? So today, we're gonna to be talking about something called minimal pairs, right? And what these are, are the, the differences between sounds that we don't normally recognize, right? But this, this can be an issue for us when we start learning other languages because if our native tongue or the language that we are using to learn these languages does not differentiate between these two sounds, we will not be able to dif differentiate between them when we're learning this new language. We will think that this, this sound is an R in these two words, right? But in reality, one's an R and one is a different sound, slightly different, okay? So, what this book breaks down is how, for example, people with heavy Japanese accents, people who do not speak English real well, that come from uh, Japan, will not always be able to differentiate between the R, R, and the L sound, O, right? Now this sounds crazy to us language, or to us English language speakers, right? But to somebody of, you know, someone who speaks Korean, where they have three different types of T sounds, they think we're crazy for not being able to differentiate between them. Now, one example this, that this book gives is the differences between three different T's in Korean. Let me find it real quick. I think I just lost it. Three different, three different T's in Korean, right? And it says... Each of these T's has a different letter, right? So when we're trying to write these words in Korean, and we hear T, it's gonna sound like, or it's gonna feel like each of these words are just randomly spelled using, you know, random letters to fill in this spot for the T. But in reality, each of these letters makes a different sound, right? It represents a different sound. So these T's are going to be the T as in tan, right? Tan. The T as in stan, stan, right? And another one, which it says is a cross between T and D. Have no idea what that is, I don't speak Korean. But some other things to think about are, or some other examples is people not being able to, Japanese speakers not being able to differentiate between the sounds of the word lock and rock. Right? To them it sounds the same. Or people not being able to differentiate between the words niece and knees. Right? Or suspect and suspect. Right? So, to get over this issue, what the author of this book suggests is receiving immediate feedback for your errors. And what he says, within a week, with, you know, 20 to 30 minutes of studying a day, you can correct these errors. So what he provides is a link to his website where he gives us a program where we select a language and it allows us to 
test ourselves, quiz ourselves on these minimal pairs and answer which sound we heard, right? It'll give you one sound, tell you this is, this is, this is the sound, and then it'll give you another sound, and it'll tell you to pick between the two letters or the two symbols, right? At least that's my understanding, because I haven't visited the site yet, but I will link it down in the description, so make sure you check it out. It might be very useful. And what he says is by receiving this instant feedback, that our brains will automatically rewire within a week and correct these, these, uh, these mistakes. So this is today's video. It also talks about the difference between thinking and sinking. Some people will not be able to differentiate. Now, this is extremely interesting, at least to me, because I'm a language learning nerd, as I'm sure some, some of you guys are as well. So I'll provide the link for you guys, and he says that he will provide these minimal pair testings in as many languages as he can, so hopefully he has a whole wide range. And I, su I suggest that all of you guys go and check that out. It might be of use it might be of use to you guys so with that being said that's it for today guys just a quick little nugget I wanted you guys to uh, learn because I learned it today every time I learn something new I run to my channel and post it right as I learn more I'll expand on this topic have to do some research and yeah with that being said no será en sus estudios los amo nos vemos pronto y suscríbete Paz.